got JoJo Fletcher and Jordan Rogers in the studio with us right now. What's up, guys? What's, what's going on? What's up, y'all? So, flipping houses is what's up. <laughs> flipping them. Flipping yeah. them all over town. But flipping this is rentals, though. It's yeah. like those VRBO kind of thing. Oh, yeah. Airbnb, yeah. Yeah, Airbnb. So, yeah. we're doing all short term rentals. And so, we've done our show's called Cash Pad, and we basically did a different take on renovation shows. And design meets business, and we turn them into vacation rentals. Oh, and we do it in a week. Yeah. So zero stress, you know, no problems, no drama, just like a Monday night. Of course, say. yeah. Um, did you guys have any house experience prior to this when it came to renovating? I did. So I've been doing this, which I don't think people knew when I was on the show. I've been doing this since college, so it's been almost 10 years, but I've always done long-term rentals. So yeah. never the Airbnbs, the VRBOs, and so... When Jordan and I got together, it was like a booming, you know, industry. And so we're like, this is a chance to kind of get in it. Jordan, did you know you were signing up for house flipping? I was just going to say, I had no experience. And I, I didn't read the fine print of our engagement. Yeah, I guess yeah. that was free labor free for labor. life. Right, so right, right. as soon as we finished filming The Bachelorette, she's like, hey, I got a property. Why don't you come over? I'm like, uh, it didn't do what? Yeah. <laughs> so it's Whatever, been a, demo day was your jam. It was. Yeah. That was all I could do back then. Now, you know, over the past three years, we've kind of been learning together. So I was registered at Home Depot or Lowe's or something. All of it. I, we all. lived there when we were in town. Loyalty card. I want to do a demo day. Oh, so bad. Every you know, time, if you have pent up anger, it's like the best way to just get it out. Get a sledgehammer oh, and yeah. put your problems on the wall and attack. Like, it. I'll do it for free, guys. I'll come over. I just want to hit a hammer on a wall. Wow, well, you heard it here. We got yeah. a recording. sledgehammer. So, yeah. what is the difference when you're flipping houses to be rental properties like that? I mean, I think that the biggest thing is like obviously you're not going to want to spend a ton of money on high end fixtures. And yeah. it's a very it's a high traffic property, so you want durable things. You don't want you know, most of the time hardwood flooring you want. So it's just managing your money better, money better and, and making sure that these properties really tell a story. Because I feel like when you're doing long-term rentals, you kind of have to play it safe. It, uh -huh. It's white walls. It's clean. It's safe. All of our properties are super bold, really fun ideas. Co like, I mean, Jordan, they're crazy. They're crazy. They're crazy. I mean, we've already done an Airstream, a shipping container. We did a wine cottage out in, um, in Fredericksburg Stonewall. or Stonewall outside of Austin. This week, we're doing a 1904 bank building in Granbury. Whoa, oh, wow. Cool. So that has its own problems mm -hmm. because it, it's, <laughs> bank you'll building. see it. It is terrible. The walls are torn up. It's in terrible shape, but it's got some really cool history. Last week, we did a an ammunition, a ammunition warehouse, warehouse from the 1940s, World War II. It was 2,600 square so feet. So we're taking, history. Yeah, we're taking really unique properties that people are like, wait, I didn't know I, I could stay there or... I didn't know I could make money from this and return it into something yeah. that works. 